Here we are! Let's tell Grandma Grouper where we're going today. Well, hello there, Freddy and Luther. Hi, Grandma! Hi, Grandma Grouper. I'm afraid we don't have much time to visit with you today. We're on our way to Coral Cove Park. You have fun. And be safe. Thanks, Grandma. Goodbye. Wait for me, Freddy! to Coral Cove Park. Some sea monster keep us out of Coral Cove Park, are we? I say we drive the monster out! That's what I say. Drive the monster out! <laughs> Excuse me. I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my pal Luther. What's going on here? I'm Marty Sardini. I developed Coral Cove Park into a beautiful attraction. But Mayor Marlin has closed it due to sea monster sightings. And we're not gonna let some sea monster spoil our fun, right? Right! <laughs> Wait a minute. Has anyone seen this monster? I have, and it scared the dickens out of me. It scared me too. Something seems fishy here. But Freddy, we are fish. No, Luther. I mean something doesn't seem right about all this. An angry mob is no way to solve this. Luther and I will figure out what the sea monster wants. Just give us some time. She's making sense, Marty. Let's give the kids a chance. Hmm. All right. You've got till the end of the day. Then we drive the sea monster out of the park! Deal. Gee, I don't know, Freddy. A sea monster sounds scary. Don't worry, Luther. I'm sure there is a logical explanation for why this sea monster is scaring everyone. The first thing we need to do is get into Coral Cove Park to look for clues. Whoa! Where do you think you're going? We're going to investigate Coral Cove Park. No one may enter the park, folks. Mayor Marlin's orders. What if we're here to help? Is there any way to get in? 
Your only option is to get this permission slip signed by Mir Marlin. We're on it! We'd sure love to get into the park to investigate the sea monster. Do you think there's any chance of getting in, officer? I don't know anybody fool enough to venture into that park. But if you get that signed permission slip from Mayor Marlin, I'll have to let you in. Officer Beverly, Coral Cove, Precinct 14. How can I be of service? I'm admiring your uniform. That badge is really cool. Just remember what it means. It means authority. That's the way to town. Hello, I'm Rollo. Who are you? Nice to meet you, Rollo. I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my pal Luther. Pleasure meeting you both. How about a pun? Well done. That's rare for this medium. Spare me! Uh-oh. Ha, there's more than meets the eye. That's just a sample. Thanks anyway. We don't need a pun now anyway. Let's hear a riddle. Have you ever seen an egg roll? No, but I've seen an apple turnover. <laughs> hey, I've got a lot more riddles where that came from. That's okay. We don't need a riddle now anyway. Let's hear a knock-knock joke. Knock-knock. Who's there? Banana. Banana who? Knock-knock. Who's there? Banana. Banana who? Knock-knock. Who's there? Orange. Orange who? Orange, you glad I didn't say banana again? Ha! <laughs> Good one! I've got a whole bunch of gut-busting knock-knock jokes. That's just a sample. Thanks, but we don't need one now. Good eye, Freddy! Hi, Casey! Hi, Freddy! Hi, Luther! What's going on? Same old, same old. I'm analyzing food samples, but unfortunately my microscope is broken. Can't you fix it? Yes, but only with a pair of pliers. Maybe we can find you a pair of pliers. That'd be great! Then I could continue analyzing these food samples. Freddy Fish, and this is my best friend Luther. The name's Marge. Marge the Sarge. Hey, that 
looks like an interesting map you have there. Why, yes! It's a topographical map of the ocean floor! What is it used for? This detailed map is generally used to explore the surface and depths of the ocean floor. Oh, so you're going on an exploration. What I'm going on is a top-secret military mission. It's highly confidential, and I'm bound to secrecy. Unfortunately, I won't be going on any mission unless I figure out how to read this map. Right now, I don't know which way is up. And unless I quickly find out which way is north, I won't be able to lead the team of Tetras to the top secret military location. If I could only get my hands on a precision mission finder compass, I would be able to pinpoint the exact location marked here on this map. Luther and I would like to help you. But where do we go to find the Precision Mission Finder Compass? I believe that there is a Precision Mission Finder Compass locked in the purser safe on the shipwrecked Raymond Fitzpatrick. Can't you get it out? First, I need to break the lock's code to get into that safe. What's with the yakety capacitators then? Someone out at the shipwreck needs to relay the lock's letter code back to me here. My machine can decipher the code, giving me the correct password. I'll do that. Can you use this? I communicate in Morse code for security reasons. Sure, I can figure it out. Hey, it's Metallomania. I love this game. How do you play it? Well, it's really easy. We both have some schools of fish. I hide your fish, and you hide mine. Then we take turns and try to find the hidden fish and feed them. Whoever feeds all of their fish first wins. Okay, I need to hide the schools of fish. That's right, Freddy. You can rotate them, too, to make it harder. Just press the play button after you've hidden all of the fish. I need to hide Luther's fish so he can't find them. This won't go there. I'm really good at this game, so why don't you go first? If you find a fish, it will eat the food and make bubbles. Okay, Luther. Try not to eat all the worm doodles. I want yellow cherry. Not even close. I'm going to try green pear. Good job, Luther. Green pear. That's a miss. There's just got to be one at Blue Pear. Nope. I'll try Red Shoe. Nothing but open water there. Yellow Pear. Perfect. You got one. Hot sauce. Got a good feeling about red watermelon. You fed a hungry one. I just know there's one at green watermelon. There's nothing there. Green banana. Oh, nope. That's a mess. I think I'm going to try yellow watermelon. Hmm. That's a mess. Orange pear. Oh man, you got one! Yellow hot dog. Yep, there's one there. I warned you that I was good at this game. Let's see. Orange hot dog. I can't believe you found that one. Yellow toast. You found one. All right! How about green toast? Sorry, Freddy. There's nothing there. Green hot dog. Way to go. Yellow pear. You got one. Excellent. 
orange hot dog. Way to go, Luther. You got one. Right on. Green shoe. Good guess. You found one. Yeah. What about orange toast? Ooh, that's a miss. Yellow toast. Whew, that's a miss. How about green toast? You found one. Uh-oh, I better hurry. I think I'm going to try orange toast. That spot is wide open. Orange pear. Good job, Luther. Two down, three to go. I'm a pro! Hmm, yellow shoe. You found one. I'm getting the hang of this now. Purple hot dog. Huh-uh. Yellow grapes. So close, but yet so far. I've got you now. Red shoe. Sorry, Luther. Not this time. I want green grapes. You got one. I'm going to try yellow grapes. Way to go, Luther. You got one. I knew it. Green apple. Good guess. You found one. I had a feeling that was the right spot to pick. Orange grapes. Better luck next time. Red pear. You found one. All right. Yellow shoe. That's a miss. I've got a good feeling about red hot dog. Better luck next time. There's just got to be one at green grapes. Way to go. Blue shoe. Oh man, you got one! You only have four groups left to feed. Green shoe. Yep, there's one there. I think I'm going to try yellow hot dog. I can't believe you found that one. Rats, you found all of this group. I just know there's one at green apple. Perfect. You got one. Three down, two to go. Orange watermelon. You fed a hungry one. Orange strawberry. Sorry, Luther. I'll try yellow watermelon. Oh, man, you got one. Oh, you fed this whole group. I think I'm going to try blue cherry. Huh-uh. Purple hot dog. Not even close. Red watermelon. Yep, there's one there. All right. How about red banana? Better luck next time. Red pear. Good job, Luther. Hmm. Purple strawberry. So close, but yet so far. I've got you now. Orange watermelon. Hmm. That's a miss. Let's see. Purple banana. You found one. What about red hot dog? Way to go, Luther. You got one. You found that whole group. Right on. Purple apple. You fed a hungry one. This is fun. How about blue banana? There's nothing there. Purple shoe. Oh, nope. That's a mess. Orange apple. Nope. Blue cherry. You got one. Excellent. There's just got to be one at Purple Banana. Ooh, that's a miss. Purple Cherry. Good guess. You found one. Uh-oh, I better hurry. I'm going to try Yellow Strawberry. Better luck next time. I've got a good feeling about Blue Hot Dog. That's a miss. Green Cherry. That's a miss. Hmm, red strawberry. That spot is wide open. I just know there's one at Blue Hot Dog. Sorry, Luther. Not this time. I want orange cherry. Whew, that's a miss. Purple grapes. Sorry, Luther. I think I'm going to try orange apple. I can't believe you found that one. I'm getting the hang of this now. How about orange shoe? Ooh, that's a miss. Let's see. 
orange shoe. You got one! Red apple. Uh-uh. Orange grapes. Sorry, Freddy. There's nothing there. Yellow banana. Perfect. You got one. I knew it. Red apple. Nothing but open water there. Yellow cherry. Way to go. I warned you that I was good at this game. I'll try... Orange banana. Oh man, you got one! I fed all my fish! Beginner's luck. We've got a case to solve. Let's get back to business. Look, there's a purple sea urchin on that geyser. It's too high right now. I can't jump that high. Too high. That's too far down. I, I got it. Way to go. is too far away for me to jump to. What are you playing? Jugs! You're good! Not as good as I should be. I'm still one jug short. And this glass bottle is no substitute. I wouldn't need this bottle at all if I had another jug. Hi, I'm Freddy Fish. And this is my friend Luther. Hi there! My name's Skipper! I've heard of taffy pools, but never taffy throws. Let's catch it next time. Okay.
Yum! I found the winner! The worst thing I've ever tasted. I bet that was a tasty one. We should try to catch it next time. What a terrible flavor! It's a barber pole. That door's locked. Look like Gil Barker. That's because we're twins. My name's Gillian. I'm Freddy, and this is my friend Luther. Pleased to meet you. Likewise. How much for a bag of Plankdos? 
just one purple sea urchin. Jawfish love them. I'd like one bag of planktos, please. Not a problem. One purple sea urchin. Thanks. Interesting flavor. Hi there! I'm Freddy, and this is Luther. We'd like to talk with the mayor if possible. I'm Clyde. The mayor's all yours as soon as I'm done with his makeover. It's just that I'm missing my number eight fin pick. Where could it be? It must be back in my barber shop. I'm so absent-minded these days. I'll go look for it. We'll go look for it. If you'd like. What dears! Quick as a bunny, just run over to my barber shop. The fin pick should be right there. Hang these keys up on the hook inside the barber shop when you've found the fin pick. Okay. Those are the keys to the barber shop. Breaker Breaker, is anybody there? It's Freddy. Freddy Fish. Freddy, my love. What's your 20? Somewhere near Coral Cove. I'm solving a mystery. I'm so proud of you. Stop by again soon. Okay, 10-4 then. Should I try? It might be this key. That's it! We're in, Luther! Whoopee! There! The keys are on the hook, so Clyde knows right where to find them. And I see fin picks already! Smells good. What's that blue stuff, Mayor Marlin? It's dish soap. He's soaking in it. When can we talk with the mayor? As soon as you bring me the number eight fin pick, I can finish his makeover. Okay, thank you. must be the fin pick Clyde needs to give the mayor his makeover. We'll soon find out. That's 
not going to do me any good. This should be the right fin pit, Clyde. Ooh, you're so efficient. Now can you finish the mayor's makeover? But of course, I'll only be a moment. All done. See you tomorrow, Mayor Marlin. Splendid, splendid. Mayor Marlin, we have a permission slip we'd like you to sign. It will allow us into Coral Cove Park so we can solve the mystery of this terrifying sea monster. Huh? All right. There is a sea monster terrorizing the citizens of Coral Cove, isn't there? Uh, yeah. Thanks, Mayor Marlin. Now, Officer Beverly will let us into Coral Cove Park. Good luck to you both. The citizens of Coral Cove are lucky to have you here in times like these. Whoa! Big clam! Hello? Is there anybody here? It's Freddy Fish and Luther. Hey, Daddy-O, I'm Nick. I'm back here trying to fix this sign. Daddy-O? Is he talking to us? Sure I am. It's all cool. Except that the bolt I need to hold this sign up fell into a clam's mouth. And now I'm trapped here. Maybe we can get the bolt out of the clown's mouth and help you fix the sign. Hey Freddy, that reminds me of a knock-knock joke. Knock-knock. Who's there? Dwayne. Dwayne who? Dwayne in the tub, I'm drowning! Ha <laughs> uh, Did you see that? You made the clam laugh, Luther. Maybe we can get the bolt back while the clam opens up to laugh. Whatever you can do to help me out of this heinous situation would be appreciated. We're happy to help. <gasps> Making the clam laugh really hard is our only hope of getting that bolt out of his mouth. The clam didn't laugh very hard at your knock-knock joke, Luther. Can't you think of another kind of joke? My mind's a blank. I can't yeah. think of anything. Let's hear a knock-knock joke. Knock-knock. Who's there? Nova. Nova who? Nova good place to eat around here. <laughs> I've got a whole bunch of gut-busting knock-knock jokes. That's just a sample. We have to tell the clam another kind of joke to make it laugh hard enough to get that bolt out. The clam didn't laugh very hard at your knock-knock joke. Don't you know another kind of joke, Luther? Yeah. How about the... how, how about the... uh, no. Yeah. Excuse me. I'm Freddy Fish. 
And this is my friend Luther. Hi! Well, hello. My name's Kit Craftsman. What beautiful handiwork. Yeah, I'm gonna have to take her apart if I don't find a bottle big enough to house it. Don't do anything rash. Luther's right. Maybe we can help. What do you use these for? The pliers? I'll use those to take this big ship apart. I can't find a bottle big enough to fit the thing. Taking a ship apart must be hard for you. Yeah, it's a heartbreaker. I wouldn't need the pliers if I had a big enough bottle for this ship. Maybe we can find one for you. That'd be fantastic. Luther. Her very best friend. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you both. My name's Donna. I'm a claw machine repair fish. These claw games are the best! I always win this game. That machine's broken. I'm here to fix it, but I can't because I lost my screwdriver the other day. It's a pretty scary story. It was just a regular day. I had finished work early and was swimming around Coral Cove Park with some friends. Suddenly, a giant creature appeared. It scared me so badly that my charm bracelet, which had the screwdriver on it, fell into a jawfish cave. I'm scared to death of that monster and that jawfish. I'm not going back there. Luther and I will help you get the bracelet back. The claw machine game costs one purple sea urchin to play. Hello there, I'm Earl, the map specialist. Nice to meet you, Earl. I'm Freddy, and this is my pal Luther. The permission slip signed by Mayor Marlin himself. You don't say. Well, I'll be. Go on in, but remember what I said. That sea monster is huge. And it's evil. No fear, eh, Freddy? No fear, Luther. Another purple sea urchin. We're getting rich! Oof! That door's locked. Yuck! It smells horrible! 
Look at the size of the bite taken out of it. That bite's big enough to be a sea monster's. That's just what I was thinking, Luther. The sea monster must have been eating this and dropped some. We're hot on the monster's trail now. We just need to get this sample analyzed. Those meddlesome kids are gonna ruin my grand plan. Here's a way in to the shipwreck, but this door is locked. Are you sure? Yes, we need to find another way in. Oomph! 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 I'm too big to fit through this hole. Let me try! Like a dream! Luther, you need to unlock the door so I can get in too. You got it, Freddy! This big wheel must open the door. But the door is locked! This looks like some kind of code lock. Freddy could figure this out once I let her in. Hmm, a code could unlock this. I need to let Freddy in so she can figure it out. Maybe moving those colors around will unlock the door in the room above. Then I can let Freddy in. I wonder if turning it this way will unlock the door. Try this again. It looks like we'll need a code to unlock this. How can we break the code? I'm not sure. We may need some help with this one. Breaker, Breaker. It's Freddy Fish on the line. You're walking tall, Freddy. We should eyeball in a short for a jamboree. Why, sure, in a short. But for now, we got clues to find. Come on back and give us a holler anytime. All right, ten four.
Tinker, look! It's a hungry jawfish! The jawfish is following the planktos. I should see if he'll come up. <gasps> That'll keep him busy for a while. The coast is clear, Luther. Here you go, Freddy! Good work, Luther! We've got the charm bracelet with the screwdriver on it! A purple sea urchin! Just waiting for me to come along! I saw that one first! <laughs> Whoa, this jug is broken! We're going to need glue to get all those pieces back together. That mud skipper sure is having fun jumping from puddle to puddle. He's going all the way across. Maybe that wasn't the right way. Luther? Yeah, we're good! A purple sea urchin just for me. What about me? For you too, Luther. Whoa! the path of the mud skipper. I... Here's your charm bracelet with the screwdriver still on it. Right on! I'll have this machine fixed lickety split.
She's fast. I'd love to try. We need to put one purple seer all set. I'm going for the fake tattoos. Keep it steady. Steady. Oh, I got a glow necklace. It's kind of pretty. Wow! Well, at least we got to play the game once before it broke again. Yeah, and we got that pretty glow necklace too. I'll wear it if you don't like it. Nah, I'll hold on to it. I'm sure it'll come in handy sometime. I can't use that there because the claw machine is broken. That's not going to do me any good. Are you a professional map reader? Yes, I am. I guess you must have your directions down flat, eh? Uh, yes. not going to do me any good. That's not going to do It's too bad we can't get into the store. We need to fix that sign. You said it, Freddy. All we need is to get that bolt back from the clam. Yeah. Are you still using these pliers? Well, I still need them to take this big ship apart. I can't find a bottle big enough to fit the thing. Luther and I will help you find a bigger bottle. That'd be fantastic. Then I wouldn't need these pliers. I need that right now. not going to do me and it's too bad you can't plan your mission with just the map well let's get moving on the code breaking business once you get into that safe on the raymond fitzpatrick and get the compass i can pinpoint the exact location of the mission then i won't need this map anymore we're ready I need
that's not good. What's good to eat taffy with? Well, I'd start with your teeth. Definitely your teeth. You don't want to swallow taffy whole. It can clog the esophagus. Thank you. That's helpful information. Could you please take a look at this food sample we found in Coral Cove Park? Interesting. It appears to be sea monster food. I can't verify that until I fix my microscope, however. I'll need a pair of pliers to do that. We'll find a pair of pliers for you, Casey. Great! Then I could analyze that food for you and tell you exactly what it is and where it came from. I need that right now. I'll transmit the letter code to Marge in Morse code. Then she can use her decoder to break the code and send us back the letter combination to open the safe lock. Genius! Now, all we have to do is decode the Morse code Marge sent and enter the correct letters into the lock combination to open the safe. Yippee! We need to set the lock... We sure did, Luther. Are you there, Marge? It's me, Freddy. I can hear you loud and clear. What's up? We got into the safe on the Raymond Fitzpatrick, and I can see the Precision Mission Finder compass. Good work. Get the compass and bring it back to base. Over and out. Oh, well, we don't need it anymore. Now let's grab the compass and meet Marge back at the base.
Here's your precision mission finder compass, Marge. Great! Now you can read the topographical map. Aha! I've got the location. I have you to thank. So thanks. You're welcome, Marge. I guess this means you're off to your exploration? Yes, exploration. Thank you for your help. No problem. Marge doesn't need this map anymore, so I'm sure she won't mind if we use it. That's not going to do me any good. We've got a case to solve. Let's get back to business. Look at this map we found. That's a beauty of a map. Is there any important information on it? I'll say. It's one of those top secret topographical maps the military uses. I could find the location of anything with this baby. Wow, that could be really handy. Ah, the intrigue of a secret military map. Was there anything in particular you wanted me to look for? We'll let you know as soon as we figure that out. Let's hear a knock-knock joke. Knock-knock. Who's there? Nova. Nova who? Nova good place to eat around here. Ha! <laughs> good one! I've got a whole bundle of knock-knock jokes. That's just a sample. How much do your jokes cost? Three purple sea urchins each. Okay. And if the joke you buy doesn't satisfy you 100%, you can bring it back and trade it for a new one. Puns, knock-knocks, or riddles. Three purple sea urchins for each, but only one joke per customer. That's expensive. They'd better be funny. Well, if the one you buy isn't funny enough for you, you can bring it back and trade it for another. Thanks. One joke, please. Would you like a pun, a knock-knock, or a riddle? I'd like one, please. They cost three purple sea urchins each. Here's another purple sea urchin. You're still one short. Here's another purple sea urchin. Great. Huh? 
Hot sauce. Here is your knock knock joke. You can always exchange it for another joke. I'll remember that. Thank. Knock, knock. Who's there? Pudding. Pudding who? Pudding on your pants before your underwear is a bad idea. <laughs> hmm. The clam didn't like your knock knock joke, Luther. We need to tell it a different kind of joke. <sighs> yeah. I'd like a different knock-knock joke, please. Sorry. You've got my best knock-knock joke already. Oh, okay then. I don't need another one. Let's hear a knock-knock joke. Knock-knock. Who's there? Juicy. Juicy who? Juicy that shooting star. Ha! <laughs> Good one! Remember that I accept trades for my jokes. You can always bring yours back and get a different one. I'd like a different knock-knock joke, please. Sorry. You've got my best knock-knock joke already. Oh, okay then. Knock, knock. Who's there? Pudding. Pudding who? who? Put. I'd like to trade my joke for another one. No big whoop. Which kind would you like in exchange? I'd like a riddle, please. Good times. Here is your riddle. You can always exchange it for another joke. I'll remember that. Thanks. What's worse than being with a fool? I don't know. What's worse? Fooling with a bee! <laughs> hmm. I guess the clam didn't like your riddle, Luther. We need to tell it a different kind of joke. to trade my joke for another one. No big whoop. Which kind would you like in exchange? I'd like a pun, please. Hot sauce. Here is your pun. You can always exchange it for another joke. I'll remember that. Thanks.
Well, I better go. There's no porpoise in this anymore. <laughs> Good one, Luther. I got the bolt. What a dream! Now we can go to Nick's Snacks. You're a real gone fish, Freddy. I like it. I like it a lot. I can dig it. Glue might come in handy. How much is it? It's free. Consider it my gift to you for helping fix my sign. Gee, thanks. I like your style, Nick. Do you make all this seashell art? No, but I write haiku about it. Wow! Will you recite a haiku for us? Show up for poetry night and you'll hear plenty. Cool! is great, but I need to put the pieces in the right places. We're getting somewhere now, Luther. That piece fit perfectly. Good one, Freddy. That piece... We're getting somewhere now, Luther. That piece fit perfect. There. All done. Check out this jug. It matches the rest of your set. It's like we've reunited the jug family. Are you for real? I can keep this jug? Hooey! Of course. Here, take this glass bottle. Thanks. I hope this is a big enough bottle. Oh, splendid. Let's give it a whirl, shall we?
What a wonderful gift you've brought me. You've saved me the pain of dismantling my work. Do you still need the pliers? Take that tool of destruction out of my sight. My creation is safe in her permanent home. Thanks. Try these pliers, Casey. That did the trick. My microscope is as good as new. Thanks, Freddy and Luther. It's our pleasure. Could you take a look at this food sample? We found it in Coral Cove Park. This food is highly unique. It's a kind of sea cheese, and it's only found in Tetra Caves, and it's typically only eaten by sea monsters. Jackpot! Mm-hmm. Just as I suspected. Come to think of it, Look at this key I found the other day. It has traces of the same food substance on it. Why don't you take it? It may come in handy for you. Thanks, Casey. Luther, we should have a look inside this Tetra Cave for clues. the key. Finally, we're in! It sure is dark in here. This is creepy. Let's leave. Not so fast. We need something to light up the cave so we can look for clues. Oh yeah. The glow necklace lights up the whole cave. Whew! I feel better already. Now we can look around for clues to where the sea monster is. Look at this. It's sea cheese. Look at this. It's just like the sea cheese we found near the entrance of Coral Cove Park. So? So this is what the sea monster eats. One. Pick up some sea cheese. Two. Scare townspeople away from my home. Three. Lurk at the deepest crevice of the ocean. This must be the sea creature's to-do list. Are you sure? I am certain of it. We need to find the location of the deepest crevice of the ocean. That's where the sea monster is. I don't think 
I need that right now. to make Taffy last longer. If you happen to be one of the fortunate ones with braces on your teeth, well, nothing goes with braces like Taffy. It lasts a long time. I wish I had braces. I don't think I need that. Where the deepest crevice in the ocean is? It surely does. It's at Swartwood's Hole. Hey, Dirt! Thank you. Let's go, Luther. Rise up, citizens! Reclaim what is yours! What is ours? Yeah, what is ours? Let's oust the sea monster from his evil lair. Let's make Coral Cove Park a safe and fun place for the whole family. Yeah, oust the sea monster. We're all behind you, Marty. Look at the size of that crevice. Are you ready, Luther? Mm. Yeah, no fear, Freddy. to darken Zephyr's doorstep! It's just Freddy Fish and Luther. Oh, you're that famous kid detective, aren't you? You've succeeded in finding my new home. What do you mean, your new home? A certain greedy developer drove me out of my real home, Coral Cove Park. He claimed it as his own and turned it into a tourist attraction. You must mean Marty. Why did Marty develop the cove if it belongs to you? Marty has a lot of gall. I have a deed to prove I own this cove, and that didn't stop him. That's bunk. There is no such deed. Zamfir, show us the deed. If what you say is true, Marty is in real trouble. It's right here. Was right here! The deed has been stolen! The deed is gone! And so is Marty. 
things are going from bad to worse. Slim Fear, we're going to get that deed back for you. We won't stand for this kind of injustice. Let's go, Luther. I know where Marty lives. Here we are at Marty's house. It looks more like a compound to me. Let's just stay calm. If we can get in, I know we can find Zamfir's deed. Ew! This rubber ducky is all slimy. It's a dog toy, Freddy. I guess you're right. We'll hold on to it anyway. Here, dogfish. Get your rubber ducky. He loves it. Now we can get past him. If you say so. Hmm, this looks interesting. It's a medium weight. Who knows, it might come in handy. It's some kind of weight. Hmm. Hold on to it for now. It looks like a counterbalance. Hmm. We can't get in this way. It only opens from the inside. Dogfish is really enjoying his chewy toy. Whoa! <gasps> Marty set a trap! I hope we're not stuck in here. Oh, great! The whole place may be booby-trapped! We need to find a way out of here. That's not going to do me any good. We can see into the other room. <laughs> no one will find Zamphia's deed now. Not with it safely locked in my wool safe and the combination cleverly hidden in this fake book. <laughs> to get the safe combination out of that fake book. Then we can get Zamfir's deed back to him, right, Freddy? Exactly. Then we can put an end to this mystery once and for all. Hmm, a weight could be useful. Not going to that lock is holding the bookcase closed. We need to unlock it if we're going to get into that room and get Zamfir's deed. That Marty is so crafty. Push harder. It won't budge. We need to unlock it somehow. That's not going to do me any good. I don't think I need that right now. Look at that tiny window. Maybe we can get out that way. I'm right behind you, Freddy. Sweet freedom! Not so fast. We need to go back and get the deed. Not going. That's 
Not going to do me any. Yep, that's a counterbalance, all right. It connects to Marty's trap room. I'm sure of it. That fits nicely, but it doesn't weigh very much. Now we're getting somewhere. That does the trick. get that fake book with a combination inside, but the bookshelf is facing the wrong way. Revolving bookshelves are such a pain. I wonder how we can get around to the other side. The chandelier changed to blue. The chandelier changed to yellow. I think the position of this vase means something. Let's borrow it for a minute until we figure it out. Very lifelike. I like kids' work better. This candle might help us. I think I'll borrow it for a while. No problem. The door's unlocked now. from the inside. The sculptor captured Marty's oiliness. I don't think I need that right now. I don't think I need that right now. I think going through this door is still going to put us on the wrong side of the bookcase. It's my favorite book, Old Yellerfin. Luther, you knocked a book out of Marty's bookcase. Huh? <laughs> hmm. 
It's the fake book. We need to open up Marty's safe with the combination we found. That's a picture of a chandelier. This key must be important too. I'm going to hold on to it until we get the deed. The chandelier changed to green. We need to open up Marty's safe with the combination we found. The vase's position means something. Let's try it here. With the combination, we can get into Marty's safe and get Samphir's deed back. This candle should be in a candlestick holder. With the combination, we can get into Marty's safe and get Samphir's deed back. to Zamphir Duncan Dogberry Valentine. Just like Zamphir said it would. Security! Security! I got intruders in the compound! I got intruders in the compound! It's martial law! It's anarchy! Security! How'd you get in? You're all under arrest! Hold up right there! I understand there's a dispute over the rightful owner of Coral Cove Park. What's this about? Marty should be under arrest for theft. This deed proves that Coral Cove belongs to Zamphir. Is this true? Marty, have you any defense? Now I see why Zamphir turned into such a scary sea monster. Marty ruined his home. This whole mess is Marty's doing. This deed I'm holding proves that Zamphir Duncan Dogberry Valentine owns Coral Cove. Hip hip hooray! I am sorry for scaring you all away. I was only trying to stop Marty. Thanks to Freddy and Luther, we stopped him once and for all. Marty's community service hours will keep him busy cleaning up this mess for a long, long time. As the rightful owner, you can choose what happens with Coral Cove Park. What do you think? Let's bring down these walls and this gate! We can all play in Coral Cove Park now! <laughs> 